Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're one you're probably wondering second video in a row. Same hair, same makeup, same outfit or same shirt. Yes. You've got it right because I'm utilizing all of my free time today. I actually did my makeup for the first time in a few days. So, you know, we're going to take advantage of it. But in today's video, I wanted to share my top five bronzers with you guys. These are the staples in my makeup collection. These are items that I'm going to continuously repurchase because I feel that they are just that important to my life. I just wanted to film a quick video video for you guys so you guys can relax and get kind of away from the craziness that's going on i just wanted to give you guys some content while we're all home quarantined and um yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this video but before we get into it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join this little family we have here and yeah let's go ahead and jump into my top five favorite bronzers so i'm going to first start with cream there's only two cream bronzers that i have here and the first bronzer that we have is from chanel it's the soleil tan de chanel and this is what i have on today well i have another bronzer on but um this is the cream bronzer that i use today and i also filmed this makeup i don't know if you'll see that first or you'll see this first but um, yeah, I really, really love this stuff. It's super creamy and easy to blend. And it's just the perfect tan shade if you're kind of like fair to medium skin tone. It blends easily and it looks really good. As you can tell, I've hit pan and I'm definitely going to repurchase another one when I officially run out. It's pricey, but this lasts a long time. I believe I purchased this maybe last November. So that just goes to show you that this does last a really long time. And now for the next cream product, it's from Milk Makeup. It's the matte bronzer in the shade Baked. Now this is another product that I've also had for maybe almost a year now. I hope it hasn't expired, you know, but it works really, really good on my skin tone. And it claims to be matte, but when I apply this, it gives my skin a luminous finish. So I'm not sure where that name came from, but I love this stuff. It works really nicely. It's super easy to blend. I don't apply it straight to my face. I like to use a brush when doing so. That way, you know, I don't apply too much. But what I also love about it is that it's super compact. So I keep it in my makeup bag when I'm on the go. And yeah. Really love it. I think it's a much more affordable than that Chanel bronzer. So if you're looking for a cream bronzer and you don't want to spend the Chanel money, definitely check this out. It is so worth the money. Now I want to jump into powder bronzers. So the first bronzer that I have here, I literally just ran out of today. I was doing my makeup and it f completely fell apart. But it's the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant Warmth, Warmth Bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. I feel like this is the perfect tone, especially when I do a little bit of nose contour. It's perfect for my skin tone. It's a little bit on the cool side. I'm going to see if I can insert a picture so you guys can actually see the color of the bronzer. But I really love the stuff. I love the packaging. And I love the shade in the actual product. It's lasting me a long time. And I feel like it blends super easy. So if you're somebody who doesn't want to spend a ton of time blending your bronzer, you're going to love this stuff. Well, actually, you're going to love all the products that I mentioned today. But yeah, really, really good stuff. Now, the next item I have is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. I have repurchased this multiple times because I love it so much. As you can tell by the product I have already had pan and I really really love using this it does have a slight shimmer in it which kind of gives you that luminous glow so that's why and I feel like the shade has just the right amount of kind of like that red tone when you apply it on your skin and it just really flatters my skin and I feel like it's definitely worth the money now as you can tell don't really use the highlighter. It is a little bit powdery for powdery for my liking, but you know, I just really love the bronzer and I will continue to repurchase because I love it that much. And now down to the last bronzer. This is fairly new in my collection, 
but I'm just so obsessed and in love with it that I knew I needed to talk to you guys about it and include it in today's video. So this is from Hourglass. It's the Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Nude Bronze Light. And I've showed it in other videos. Please also excuse my nails. I'm going to do them tonight. This is what happens when we're quarantined and all of the nail salons are closed. So what it, this is what she looks like. It looks like there's more light shade, like light tones in here. But once you blend that in with your brush, it's going to give you the most beautiful luminous glow without having glitter pigment in it which is why I really love this stuff it's not super glittery so I have that on today and I just think my skin looks phenomenal I've been using this on an everyday basis and I really love it it is pricey but you do get a hefty amount of product and the packaging is honestly amazing I've dropped this quite a few times and it's survived every time so that goes to show that the packaging is legit. Alrighty guys, so those are all of my top five bronzers. I really love these products. As I said earlier, can't live without them and I would definitely repurchase. If you guys are light to medium, you would definitely enjoy all the bronzers that I mentioned in today's video. And with that being said, that wraps up this video. I really hope you guys enjoy or are enjoying my top Five series. It's just something that I've seen going around. I believe Alana Rama or Alana Davison does these videos frequently and she inspired me. I'm sure a lot of other people also do it, but she's one of the people that I got my inspiration from. And yeah, if you want me to continue doing these top five videos, just comment down below what top five videos you want to see from me. And before you go, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and join my little family. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.